right. What's going on everybody? Glad to be back. So, had a chance to go to an LCS. Maybe it was about 45 minutes, maybe an hour away. Um, never been to it before. Matter of fact, let me clear this up because I haven't bagged and boarded these. So I'm just probably going to lay them flat here. Um, it was maybe like 45 minutes, hour away. Um, look at that comment. But um, it was pretty cool. I went there and, and immediately saw like 50 plus long boxes. One side was bagged and boarded. The other side was raw. And I thought, okay, this is it. And I was digging and I was just seeing a bunch of modern stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute, this, this can't be a dollar. Or this needs to be a dollar. But the box that said cover price. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not it. So I asked the guy because someone had told me, another owner had told me, look, you got to go to this store because they have 50 long boxes of dollar bins, 50 plus. And, um, and, the, and the cashier was like, oh, that's across the street. I was like, oh, they got another office across the street. So I went there and lo and behold, they had like 60 plus long boxes. I couldn't believe it. And while I was there, like more inventory was coming in um, because I saw the owner and, and some other guy talking. So what I'm about to show you is what I found. Um, I don't know, nothing, nothing crazy maybe, nothing too big, nothing too small. Just stuff I want to put in the PC, stuff uh, I'm probably going to sell, flip real quick, stuff I'm going to put on the auction market, stuff I'm going to use to trade maybe. So I mentioned this in another video. I don't know, just the title caught my eye, Rag 71A, Ragman. Just thought that was cool to find. So, thought that was cool. I found this. Oh, wait a minute. I got to adjust the camera, I think. I found this, uh, this comic here. I hope that works. I found this comic here. Um, Justice League 30. Um, as well as 31. What's this? The first appearance of, uh, first full and second appearance of Je Jessica Cruz. I uh, thought that was cool. Get it as a set for a dollar. Thought that was cool. Um, I showed this a couple times in my other videos. I found another copy of Fantastic Four 15. Um, I originally said this is the first appearance of Valerie Richards, but I think it's the first appearance of Valerie Von Doom. So, you know, I'm not sure if that character is going to be in a new Fantastic Four movie, but... Just a cool comic to get anyway. Look, you know, it was near mint. Couldn't pass it up. This is probably the one you want to get. This Fantastic Four 54. This is actually the first appearance of Valerie Van... Oh, excuse me, Valerie Richards. Um, I guess issue 51 um, is the uh, appearance of Valerie Richards inside the womb. And then 54, this is where she's outside of the womb of a visible woman. So, it's a really thick book, man. This is like three annuals in one. So, I don't know how you can get a high grade of that. Um, found this power pack number 12. Uh, first Beautiful Dreamer. It's supposed to be a character in the new Fox show, The Gifted. So, near mint copy there. Found, found this, which I thought was cool. Superman 10. I guess this is the um, the cover B variant. I have the cover A, so to have it as a set. Uh, first, was this the first Super Sons? Um, oh, and I got another copy too for a dollar. So that's pretty cool. Oh, the Power Pack 12, that is. Thought that was a cool cover. Been been on my radar for a while. I got a raw copy now. Uncanny X Men number annual number one. Um, just a cool domino cover. Cool white cover. Um, it's a recent book. Came out earlier this year. Let me see. Marvel Comics presents seventy two. Another comic. Another uh, copy of uh, first appearance of Weapon X. So it was like my second or third copy. Pretty cool. This was a cool comic. I saw this on Master X video and 
lo and behold, I bumped into it. This is, uh, they have the cover A to this too. I probably should have grabbed it and maybe sold it as a set. But um, this is the Justice League of America 12. Came out in 2007. The second print variant. Um, hard to find. Um, Alex Ross cover. Um, it's selling for like, you know, 30 40 online. So I guess it's just one of those hard to find covers. Found it for a dollar. And I finally completed my Marvel Zombies. This is um, two copies of Fantastic Four 21 plus 21, the variant. So now I have 21, 22, and 23, and they, they, they sell pretty good as a set. So first appearance of the Marvel Zombies. All that for a dollar. Um, nothing big, but I was just missing it. A next number one, first appearance of uh, Mainframe. Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Found this. Four, three, and one. I'm just missing two. Um, the Magic four-part miniseries. Um, just a classic Copper Age book, maybe. Near Mint Plus. Um, I don't know. I just thought this was an interesting concept in the past that Marvel did. Um, X-Factor 41, the first appearance of Alchemy. Supposedly Marvel did a contest for some um, fans and this particular fan um, actually got to make up a new character so Marvel can put it in their comic book. So it probably means more to that person who made that, that character there but I don't know I wish Marvel would do something like that again let the fans make a character to put in a comic book thought that would be a cool idea. So I don't know thought that was cool. So yeah I found uh, Spawn 8. Spawn 9, first appearance of Angela. So now all I'm missing is Spawn number 1 to finish my 1 through 10 short little run of Spawn. Thought that was cool. Another copy of 52 Week 3, first appearance of uh, the new Isis. Adriana Thomas, going to be a character in the Legends of Tomorrow TV show. Thought that was cool. Found a near mint copy of Scarlet number 1. Uh, new TV show, I think it's HBO or Cinemax, one of those that they're planning on doing. But it's the origin of first appearance of Scarlet. I think it's I think it's an eight-part series, eight-part comic book. Another X Factor 17, uh, first appearance of Richter, the character in the Logan movie. Just thought I'd add in the PC. Another new universe Marvel. Pretty cool. Now I have six of eight, just missing two titles. Um, Merc, the Merc, I think I'm missing, and the Cyforce, I think, is the other one. So, Night Mask number one, first appearance of this character, first appearance of New Universe. This was only a 12 issue series run. Um, I don't know, just a personal, personal uh, collection there. This was interesting. Um, I mean, it looks like a solid. You know, near mint copy, Invincible Iron Man number one, second print variant it says here. And looks like there's, it's the cover H. There are 12 different covers to this Invincible Iron Man number one, which is amazing. But it's the second print Metading variant, low print run. And according to Comicron, there's only 6,000 copies. So, um, this was interesting. Came out in 2008. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with that. In my last video, just, it's kind of funny how things happen, man. But on my last video, I talked about this comic. But I had issue 32. Or excuse me, I had issue number one. This is 32. Um, which is it really interesting. So I, I found this in the dollar bin to go with the number one I have. It's the same comic book, the same cover. Same interior pages, the first appearance of Korath, the Pursuer. Now I just have 32 to go with the uh, special edition number one. Damage Control, just an early, early Copper Age book. Damage Control number one. Web of Spider-Man 36, this is getting some heat lately. Uh, first Tombstone. I guess it's going to be a character in a Spider-Verse Silver and Black movie. It's about a $20, $25 book. Found another copy of this. This is a this is definitely a 9-8 Canada Iron Man 219. 
Uh, first appearance of Ghost, um, a character in the Ant-Man movie. Another copy of Black Adam. Um, uh, the cover, Justice Society of America 23. Pretty cool. And I found three logos, three negative logos. Um, not the Deadpool one, but ones that I was missing from the PC. So I have the regular um, Deadpool, but I don't have the negative logo Deadpool. So I don't know, just wanted to put, the, put that in the collection in the PC. So that was pretty cool. So that was a dollar bins. And then I was digging through their back issues and found two copies of Sandman uh, 69. Uh, first appearance of Daniel as the Dream. I guess this is getting some heat. Um, especially after the Metal um, comic book from DC. Um, 22 I think it is. 22-23 Sandman is the other one to get. I guess that's the first, first appearance of Daniel in Maze. But this is the first appearance of Daniel as Dream. So these are selling, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. So, so I went through the dollar bins. I went through the back issues. And then I went through their new uh, comic releases. I wanted to see if they had any, uh, you know, Miracle Man or Hulks or anything like that. But they didn't really have anything. Um, but I did pick up this i mean just an independent title um thought i'd add that to the pc and just an honorable mention um i did pick this up from the store and i remember reading it on facebook or some type of comic book site i forgot the name i tried to look it up before i shot this video just to get some more information i couldn't find it but um they were talking about this comic here met cadet and um, saying how it's, you know, a low print, independent publisher, Boom Studios, and blah, 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 blah. So, but they said this is the cover to get, this one. So, you know, I bought it, I found it, couldn't really see any other sales online. And, you know, for this set right here, believe it or not, sold for... $30 so I don't know what the deal is I mean this is the cover to get like I said but um it's the Lou I guess this is cover D this is the Lou variant um I have another copy for my PC I'm not sure you know what the deal is what what the spec is but um supposedly it's sold out um, on Midtown and other third-party comic book sites sold out everywhere. There wasn't any on eBay. Um, found a copy. So if you can, if you see this, if you find it, I mean, either maybe put it in the PC or, or, you know, try to sell it or something. But I mean, it's, it's definitely a cool. This, this is probably the cooler cover. I mean, this one right here is selling pretty cool. You know, double cover right here. They're they're three ninety nine a cover. So, you know, all three for 30, 35 bucks is not that bad, I guess. So, I don't know. I rolled the dice. I really did. I didn't know what to expect or what to, what to think. But I just remember reading about this online and I, and I rolled the dice. So, yeah. So, that was my experience. That was pretty cool. Um, nice LCS. Uh, there's a Comic-Con tomorrow that I'll probably go to and check it out. And hopefully shoot another video for you guys. But... Um, just wanted to share that with you and, and, and hope you, you're, you're digging and finding what you, what you want to find guys and ladies. So that concludes the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Hope all is well. And as always, collect what you want to collect, but please take care of those comics and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.